Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. Earlier this week, I had a question come in from one of you guys about how I got Android 10's gesture controls to work with Nova Launcher. So I thought I'd share with you guys exactly how I did it. And before the comments start rolling in, no, this isn't going to fix the inherent coding issues between third party launchers and Android 10, but it will allow you to have full gesture controls on any Android phone. And don't worry, you won't need root access for this, but you will need ADB and a PC. So if you find this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have ADB successfully installed on your PC. I'm going to leave a link down below to XDA forums which will give you a guide on how to set this up. But if you do get stuck and want me to make an easy step by step guide for you guys for this or anything else, just let me know in the comments below. So now let's head over to our mobile phone and enable developers option. Just simply tap on your build number multiple times. Next head over to developers options scroll down and find USB debugging and enable it. Next, you want to connect your phone to the PC. Also, at this point, you're going to want to download the app Just Your Control from the Play Store. Now simply follow as I'm indicating on screen to allow the app the advanced permissions that it needs in order to work properly on your phones. As you can see, the app has added a navigation pill at the bottom of your screen, similar to what we'll find on a Google Pixel phone. This is what we'll be using instead of the home button, but before we do, let's get rid of our old school navigation bar. Just simply tap on the navigation bar hider option and the app will tell you exactly what you need to type in ADB on your PC to enable this feature. So let's head over to our computer, make sure our device is correctly connected and then issue this command. Personally, I like to open the command prompt from the ADB file location. Here, just simply type CMD and hit enter. Now first, let's double check that our device is correctly connected. Just simply type ADB devices and hit enter. It will now list your device if the connection was successful. But if it fails, it's most probably an issue with your setup of ADB or even your drivers. So go back and double check these. Next, let's enter the ADB command as previously indicated by the app and simply hit enter. You're not really going to see any on-screen prompts to say you were successful. But now, when you head back to your mobile phone, you should be able to enable the navigation bar hider option within the app. Next, let's tweak this navigation style so it's more sensitive but also hidden from sight. So feel free to follow along and copy my changes as I do them on screen. Next, in order to get the Android 10 back just your controls on the edge of your screens, we need to install one more application. Just simply install Edge Gestures and allow the permissions it requires, just as I'm showing here. Now that that's out of the way, as a final tweak, we're going to adjust the length from 50 to 100 to cover the whole screen. Just simply head to the comments section of the app and adjust the length of the vertical edge. There's quite a lot of interesting options within both apps, so make sure you take your time and look around to get the best customizations for you. And there you have it, we're finally done. If you found this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.